Hello again. Any supposed development or invention which emerges from Africa is treated with great admiration and respect. It is a way of rebalancing the horribly Eurocentric history with which we are all familiar. That is the history which suggests that, with one or two exceptions, all the important discoveries and inventions over the last 35,000 years have been made by people of European heritage. You know, things like aeroplanes, telephones, quantum theory, space rockets, steam engines, cars, computers and calculus, to mention but a few. The last invention in sub-Saharan Africa, which was wholly original, was the bone harpoon. You see, sheer Eurocentrism. A few months ago, some archaeologists saw the chance to redress the balance a little by trumpeting forth news of what was described as an extraordinary ancient wooden structure, which left them stunned. It turned out that two pieces of wood, one laid on top of the other, were found in Zambia in 2019. One of the bits of wood, a branch about five feet long, had a notch hacked in it. Some sharpened sticks were also found, and these things too dated from four or five hundred thousand years ago. The find was reported in Nature in September 2023, and newspapers soon picked it up and treated it as an amazing discovery of early technology from Africa. There is a slight problem here, of course, and that is that much the same thing was going on in the Essex town of Clacton 400,000 years ago. The Clacton Spear was found at Clacton in 1911, and it is almost as old as the sticks found in Zambia. Other sharpened sticks of roughly the same age have been found in Germany. Some of these are about the same age as the sticks featured in the article in Nature. The reason that the sticks in Africa were seen as news, something picked up by the BBC and all sorts of newspapers, was of course because it was in Africa that they were found. So little has come out of sub-Saharan Africa that even some sticks which have been notched or sharpened seem to be regarded as a wonderful achievement. The truth is that such things have been found all over the place, even as I say, in Essex. Finding some old sticks in Essex, though, is unlikely to make the headlines, that place not being as newsworthy as Africa. The very fact that headlines are made in this way by such a discovery in Zambia says something about the paucity of invention in that part of the world. A sharpened stick really is something to write home about if you come across it south of the Sahara. <laughs>